The car is driving itself. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I'm using drive to target. So using my phone, which I'm showing a screen uh, recording of on the left, I simply select the target. In this case, I'm just selecting a random target somewhere in the parking lot. And, and then I push the go to target button and the car drives there entirely on its own. When using this mode, there's a dead man switch. I have to keep my thumb on the phone, on that button, that blue button on the phone, for the car to move. As soon as I remove my thumb, the car stops. This is because I am liable. There is no, Tesla is not taking liability when it's driving around here. This feature is limited to parking lots right now because Tesla doesn't have uh, the right the permits and so on to actually use this particular feature on public roads. Now, full self-driving works on public roads, but with full self-driving, you actually have to be sitting in the driver's seat. So that's sort of the difference here. This system here will work with nobody in the car at all. In June of 2025, so basically next month, I'm making this video in May of 2025, Tesla's releasing their robo-taxi service in Austin. Basically, it's the same software that you're seeing in this car. It's the next version of the software, but it's the full self-driving software that um, where they're removing the restrictions. So what you're seeing here in this video, this software, like I said, the next revision of this software, is going to be driving around in the streets of Austin with paid fares sitting in the back seat. It is an exciting time to be alive. We're seeing the, just a fundamental change in transportation with Waymo already running in five or six cities and Tesla starting to come on in multiple cities and hopefully suburbs in the very near future. We're going to start seeing autonomous cars driving around all the time. And it's just going to open up so many possibilities and so many future ventures and so many opportunities that it's going to, it's, it's the personal computer revolution all over again.